Lisa, a member of Blackpink, featured prominently on MBN and SBS Korea TV national broadcast. They reported that Lisa participated in the final charity concert held in Paris, France, known as the Yellow Peace Gala. On the 26th, local time, at the Accor Arena, Lisa took the stage wearing a gold bodysuit by Lowe, captivating the 13,000 audience members from her fanbase who enthusiastically sang along. French First Lady Emmanuel Macron joined Lisa on stage, linking arms, making her the highlight of the night. The concert was a fundraiser for the French Hospital Foundation, featuring performances by Maroon 5, ASAP Rocky, Stray Kids, and others. In 2017 with Zipper Japan interview, when asked about a person she respects, Lisa mentioned Rihanna. Finally, Lisa had the opportunity to take a photo with the person she respects at pre-concert La Gala event in LSA, where the pop queen herself was present to witness Lisa's performance at La Gala des Pieces Jones. This wasn't their first meeting, as Lisa reportedly attended Jay-Z's birthday bash in December 2023, where Rihanna was also present. During their recent encounter, both Lisa and Rihanna looked stunning. Rihanna exuded confidence in an all-black ensemble with a dirty blonde wig, while Lisa wore Dior outfits, including a Dior cropped jacket from the Crew's 2024 collection, Dior flared pants, a Louis Vuitton's fitted knit tank top, and a Dior Small Lady D Joy bag. Despite being a global ambassador for Celine, Lisa's repeated appearances in Dior have sparked speculation. The fact that Lisa appeared three times in Dior for this event, first when she departed from Incheon Airport, then during her visit to the Operation Gala at Disneyland Paris, and finally at the pre-gala dinner. The question arises, is Lisa's contract with Celine nearing its end? Surprising revelation, it turns out that other Blackpink members have also met Rihanna. Jenny met Rihanna in Korea in 2019, while Rosé encountered her at the Met Gala in 2021. If Jisoo also manages to have a photo with the global pop icon, it would be iconic. Moreover, considering that Blackpink once did a dance practice to Rihanna's hit song, Bitch Better Have My Money, and Lisa's lyrics in, Pink Venom, bear similarities to Rihanna's, Honda Replay, fans are eagerly anticipating a potential Blackpink and Rihanna collaboration in the future. What do you think? In a recent turn of events that has sent waves of anticipation blinks community, Odd Atelier or a creative director has joined forces with Blackpink's makeup team, film director, visual director, set designer, and even Jenny's manager, Alison. The work suggests that something big is in the works, sparking speculations and excitement among fans. The presence of members responsible for Blackpink's teases further fuels the excitement, hinting at a project that goes beyond the ordinary. Fans have been quick to connect the dots, with some speculating that the collaboration might be in preparation for Jenny's full album or even Blackpink's highly anticipated comeback. One social media post, featuring the team working together, was captioned with, The studio is pretty good, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. The cryptic caption has only intensified the curiosity surrounding this powerhouse collaboration. The possibility of a Blackpink comeback or the release of JN album has fans buzzing with excitement. The convergence of such creative talents suggests that whatever is in the works is bound to be a visual and auditory masterpiece. As fans eagerly await official announcements, the anticipation is palpable across social media platforms. The prospect of new music, stunning visuals, and the meticulous touch of OA creative director has ignited a fervor among fans, and the consensus is clear, something extraordinary is on the horizon for Blackpink and, potentially, Jenny. In addition, after being in the United States and sharing a flight with Jenny's manager for a music project, it seems that Rosé has now returned to Korea. Rosé's return to Korea has sent waves through community, with fans eager to uncover the details of her latest project. The caterer stated, We ask for your understanding that we cannot give you the details of the shooting because it was a closed-door lunchbox that we sent to the set of Rosé. This cryptic statement has fans speculating whether Rosé is gearing up for a photoshoot related to her upcoming album or a cover shoot for prestigious magazines associated with YSL and Tiffany & Company. Stay tuned for further updates as the enigmatic details surrounding Rosé, Jenny and Blackpink recent project unfold, and K-pop enthusiasts brace themselves for a visual and musical feast from the talented Blackpink member.